Hi, it's Kamey with SMB, and today we're going to be installing our new 22 gallon uh, water tank on this 170 Sprinter. This fits the 170 and the 144 on the driver side, underside. So, to start, first thing you'll notice is this tank is sloped. So, we did that because one, it's a really nice visual when you look at the outside of the van and you don't see the tank. So, it slopes inward. Then, also, all the water is going to collect on this lower portion. So um, if this is the feed going to your pump, you're getting all 22 gallons out of this tank. Um, so we have a half inch MPT on the bottom. This is great for a feed. This is a inch and a half. This is great if you're doing a gravity, gravity feed. Um, or you can also put a, a bushing in here. And if you're doing a pressurized feed, this, uh, this turns into a, a great spot for a pressurized feed since this would already be your feed to the pump. If you're using this as a gray tank, and then this could also be as your gray outlet if you need a, a fast flow outlet if you're gonna connect it to a, a, a port on the outside. This is another inch and a half. This is great for using this as a, uh, a gray tank and you need you know, drainage into the tank. The top ports on the tank, we have a three quarter inch vent and we have an inch and a half um, fitting for your level sensor. So this is a KUS uh inch and a half threaded level sensor this is a seven inch for this tank we recommend an eight inch it works out perfectly after you have it threaded into right about there where it's almost on the bottom of the tank and then for the install in the tank we're going to get right into that the tank comes with these studs so you have long studs and you have short studs the uh, short studs go on the outmost hole. So I'll switch over to the underside so we can get a camera in here. Now to start, we're gonna take the shorter studs. We're gonna get them in the outside hole. Same for the front and then the rear as well. So after we have them in here, what makes it really easy for the install is if you can just tape them away. Just get them, hopefully this tape is sticky enough. Get it stuck to the outside body panel. Same goes for this one. Because when you're putting up the tank, the last thing you want is for these studs to get caught and just mess with your install. So those are all good to go. We'll get the longer studs installed. We'll get these taped away as well. Okay, so now we have all of our studs ready to go. The tank is ready to go in. Now is a good time to put your level sensor in or your three quarter inch uh, vent on the top. So we'll slide the tank up and just press it into place. And now I'm going to grab an extra hand from someone and get them to hold the tank while I put the mounting plates on the bottom. So my camera guy helped me with these mounting plates. But you can see it's just a 19 millimeter nut. Put a washer right there and we'll do the middle strap now as well. Um, I did use an air impact to do these just because the way that these uh, studs go in, as you tighten them by hand, as you ratchet them back and forth, they like to spin and just take a little bit long time. So if you do have an electric driver, <laughs> some air, you just turn it on to the lowest setting and don't go too crazy, but slash plate, string it through, washer and nut. Can you hand me that washer right there? Put that 
side. I'll see here. Just a few times. You could also do, if you don't like the look of these studs hanging down, you can cut them, or you could just back off the brackets a little bit. This is in there very snug. And that was the installation. Very, very straightforward. Uh, we can show you the rear of the tank now as well, and kind of the, what the fitting location looks like coming off of here. So again, this is your uh, half inch. You still have plenty of space back here if you need to make a turn or go back to a pump. Um, works with our tanks, works with OEM tanks. And then the visibility, um, if we step away a little bit, you can see that you can hardly see the tank. We have it up on the lift, but if you're looking at it from eye level, it's just hardly, hardly noticeable and you're still getting 22 gallons. Uh, thank you for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions or you need anything. 909-675-1313. Thank you.